No, 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 no. I got the keys. I can't believe it. Hurry up, hurry up. It's happening. Come on. Let's go. No, no, no. Look at it all. No, 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 no. Where is this water coming from? Why is this wet? No, no, no. Why is this wet? I don't know where it's coming from. There's water everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. It's coming in here. It's everywhere. Where is this coming from? Why is it coming down the stairs? Oh, it's up here too. I can't know. Where is it coming from? What are we gonna do? Oh my goodness, it's coming in this window, going down. Look, look, look. No, it's coming, like, it's everywhere. There's water everywhere. It's coming in this window. It's, oh no, it's right here too. I can't believe this. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Ryan, the roof is leaking. The roof is leaking. Why didn't you just tear it down? The floodplain is too is low. Leaking. You did the roof in the backyard. It's going to flood. Why didn't you just tear it leaking. down? The floodplain is too low. You didn't put wells in the backyard. It's going to flood. Why didn't you just tear it down? The floodplain is too low. You didn't put wells in the backyard. Good morning from my favorite uh, morning breakfast location. Bro, this dude right here is gaming. It is seven o'clock in the morning and he's all mic'd up and got the headsets and this guy. Yeah, man. That's how you start the day. That's how you start the day, stress-free. Let's go. Hello world, welcome back to another episode of Dry Cabin Camping Cabin Cabin Camping <laughs> with the Aspinalls. Well, I butchered that intro, eh, after putting together that little montage for you. Well, as you can see, she's bone dry. So now, I'm gonna take water from that pail, and I'm gonna pour it in that corner, and I'm gonna film that, and you're gonna see, you're gonna see the, the final production or at least the behind the scenes. Yeah, you've already seen the final production. Now you're gonna see how it was made. So this pail of water is what our mud and drywall folks have been using because there's no services. And this is what I'm gonna do with it. Oh no! Where did this water come from? Then I'll move the pail out of shot. Way over here. Man, the things we do for YouTube. Ugh. Really gonna make a muck of this one because for old time's sake, right? There was water all on these floors when we took possession. So it's a bit of a homage. It's a bit of a homage tribute. All right, cue, uh, I'm gonna film sitting on the stairs now, because that's where all the water's coming in. Well, let me give you a, a real tour of how it looks today. You'll see, you'll, you would have seen, last couple of videos, the drywall, done. Priming, done. Time to choose paint colors, time to design cabinets. We're looking at Ikea, as well as a local cabinet maker to put the little kitchenette here and here. So it's going to be an L shape. We need a little pantry uh, closet coat something here. I don't know if we're going to build one or uh, look at Ikea as well, but that'll be sort of your makeshift closet at the front door. You gotta do flooring too. And because this sits on cement, we're gonna use a vinyl click plank. Vinyl click plank, they're waterproof, they're like sandproof, incredibly highly durable. We are located at the beach, people have pets, sandy feet, sandy dogs, high traction, red wine, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna go with a vinyl click floor plank that's gonna sit on the concrete, it's gonna have a moisture barrier behind it, but because concrete sweats, that just makes 
the most sense. And back here, we're going to have stackable laundry. This is where the water is coming in from the bathroom. It's going to continue on the inside of the wall behind these cabinets to the sink right there, adjacent to the stove on the ground and the fridge that's going to go here. So again, stackable laundry there. And as we come around here, there's your shower, there's your toilet, there's your bathroom sink, and bathroom light. Coming back out around, we'll head over under the stairs. This is where we put a four foot addition on the back. And we did that for two reasons. To put the stairs, to build the loft upstairs, but also to run plumbing in from outside. This was an off grid garage cabin bunkie. Services are gonna come from the road. The lines are already under the cement and they go here to the bathroom and they go here to the hot water tank, All right? Those are the same lines that run behind the bathtub to that location there. So hot water tank's going to go here. We chose hot water tank. Maybe we should have gone on demand. Bit of an oversight. Didn't plan for any venting. So we're just gonna do an electric hot water tank for the time being. Beside that, we're going to have another big closet space. So ample storage with these massive 10 foot ceilings. Let's head upstairs. Here you go. This is the massive primary loft as it looks today. Never used to be here. Look at the backyard. We cut the roof off and built this apartment upstairs. This was me. I poured this. I got a little, uh, poured a little too much up here. So I'm gonna go have to get a fan so we can fix the problem I created this morning. But take you over where the bed space is going to go. Gonna have an electric heat source on the wall right here. That's beautiful. Lake Erie's North Shore, Southern Ontario, Canada. What do you think? Big old office bedroom. Come over to the side yard. We have all this property that belongs to this building. That portage on right there belongs to this building lot. Well, if I pour water on the stairs, I'm gonna make it look like, make it look like the water was coming down the stairs, you know? Just enough, yep, just enough. While it's still dripping, get the shot! While it's still dripping. Oh, if my builder's watching, I do apologize. But uh, things we do <laughs> in the YouTube land. All right, get ready for the shot. Okay, I may have overdone it with that one. No, I don't know where it's coming from, but it's everywhere up here. I may have overdone it with that one. Oh, may have overdone it. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Been here for hours trying to film a fun two minute intro. Welcome back to the dry cabin where I've been pouring water all over the floor to try and bring you some mildly entertaining YouTube content. Everything's dry in here, as you can see. Painting and priming is done, floor to ceiling. We are actually working on flooring next and we're in the process of designing cabinets, looking at a few different options for this kitchenette. Oh yeah, wouldn't be a cottage at the lake around here without a wet bathroom. Every cottage we've ever owned has had a wet bathroom. <laughs> okay, there we go. Shh. No, it's even in the bathroom. The bathroom floor's wet too. The bathroom is completely saturated. It's coming from upstairs. Well, we're back, as you can see, by the color of the siding. Wait, no. You can't tell by the color of the siding because the siding is the same here as the other place. We're building two garage houses that look the same, but they're completely different. Let's check out the lake today. Mother Nature is flat. If you're new around here, this is Southern Ontario, Canada. Canada's most Southern mainland shoreline. 
And way over there, that's Michigan. Way over there, that's Ohio. Clearly it is a fishing day. I don't know if you can see those. Oh yeah, we can, look at them all. Out there. And out there. Well fam, it's my Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. I hope you had a, a productive week. Come on, stay. It was a gnarly week around here. We were on uh, week two of our latest children's book release and it's doing incredibly well on the charts. Really happy about that. Shout out Mike Azalina. You know what? Let's insert heartbeats right here. Um, hey, <laughs> why are you being mean? We're going, buddy. Why are you being mean? It's on time. Hello. Oh, uh, yeah, jealous much? So these ones are going to go over the stove, right? Yes. Okay, so you got this visual? I do. Okay. Okay, and they're like 16 feet long, more or less. Come on, Stevie. We got to go look upstairs. He's coming. Okay, so they're not long enough to go from the fridge all the way to the corner here. Okay. They're they're not long enough. No. Okay. So there's gonna be somewhat of a gap. I don't know how much. Sure. So I was thinking of putting shelves this way. But I, I'm having a hard time with what materials. It's really far as well. Um, so I was going to have the metal shelf come, and then I'll put, put like a, so if the wood's here, I want to put like a route out, mm -hmm. and like slide a shelf in, there'll be two, there'll be one two, yeah. at the height of the, uh, exhaust. The hood, the hood vent, hood doodad. Vent. So one the height of the hood vent. Yes. And then one, and then one higher, higher, and then a glass shelf here that. Well, it'll. I don't know if it'll feeds go, into it. I don't know if I want it to go in front of the window, right? Or just stay to the side. I haven't decided yet. I like the idea of the glass here and the live edge on this wall over here. Yeah. Okay. What are you measuring? The length now? Yeah. What is that? You might do five. Eight feet. Yeah, just under. Just under eight feet. They're not that long out there. Oh, I thought they were. Wanna go see? Yeah. <laughs> 91 oh, and a half. Wow. Well, that's... Okay, so we're talking a difference of three and a half inches, right? Yeah. So an inch and three quarters on either side isn't very much. No, but... Right? I'll, we'll cut it to whatever size of a shelf. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stevie? Are you hungry? Are, are, are you hungry? Can I pop? Oh, oh, okay, let's go! Where's your ball? Here it is. Well... I think it's time we all eat. So I'm gonna light the barbecue.
kebabs on the menu tonight. I can't remember if it's chicken, beef, or pork. <laughs> she just told me before I came out, and I already forget. Kebabs on the gas grill. Because I'm too lazy tonight to make a fire. It's been a day. Oh, someone's out there. Bet that's cold, huh? It's chicken. Well, we're at the end of another day. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Especially, shout out you if you're still here at the 14, 15 minute mark. I appreciate you, grateful to you. If you are still here, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button, maybe subscribe. Winter is definitely here. It's, it's a crisp air, you know? It might still be 60 degrees like it was last week, but it's brisk. What's up, buddy? Talk to me. And then what happened? Yeah? Oh, you like pats, don't you, buddy? Hi, Tom. Speak. He thinks I have food. I yeah. Can you throw me down a plate? Hello? Let her rip. Thank you. Welcome. If you'd like to support this channel, you can always browse the Codebreaker library of books. That's a great way to support us. I agree. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, well, it's getting chilly. Lake's still flat. Most of the fishing boats are gone. All the fishing boats are gone. There was a bunch of them out there. I think I showed you that way. We got a bunch of branches down. It's been stormy, but it's gorgeous. Well, friends, like I was saying, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't believe we are on the cusp of 30,000 subscribers. You have made 20-year-old Brian giddy, overjoyed. I am grateful to you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Peace and love from Canada's most southern mainland. Charlotte, give somebody close to you. Tell them they matter. Don't forget, you matter. Catch y'all on the next one. <laughs>